Hey, good morning, it's me again. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Welcome to La Canzona Cucina, or my singing kitchen. Today we're going to make romaine lettuce soup, or some people have a choice to call it uh, Soup César. But somebody came up with that name. I like romaine lettuce soup, it sounds better. It's a real easy recipe. I use three onions, about medium-sized onions. I'm going to cut them up and dice them, put them in a pan, saute them, then I'm going to add them to the pot, then I'm going to cut the lettuce up and put the lettuce in with it, make it all boil, put it in the blender, blend it all up, serve it with salt and pepper and some bay leaf. That's why I have this cheesecloth. I put the bay leaf in this, I wrap it up, tie it up really good, put it in a soup like this, and it cooks really nice and the smell of it comes out and we have a good time. And then we'll be all happy. So I'm going to start on this now. Let me cut these onions up. Um, Greg, beware. That's right. This, is not enough, this, this should not be done by amateurs. This is for professionals only. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. Anyway, and Florence, I hope you like this too. Darren said I have to say hello to you and I have to get you on my Facebook, on email, whatever it is, and say hi. And I will. I'll do that today as soon as I get finished with these recipes. So I'll talk to you later, Florence. Thank you for liking the show. Thank you for enjoying the show. Now I'm going to just cut these into little onions. Oh, i got to get my cook. i got to sort of these anyway. Let me get my frying pan out. Guess what I'm putting in this? Olive oil. Ah, what a good guess that was. How much of this Italian olive oil, like me, and like you, and like the doggies, how much of this are you using this? Third of a cup. Third of a cup sounds like a good idea to me. Just kind of saute it nicely. One, two, that's about a third. I put three squeezes, that's like a third of a cup. Ooh. It could be more than a third of a cup, depending on who's looking at it, but it's a third of a cup, as far as I'm concerned. So, I turn on the gas, and while that's getting hot, I'll do the onions. Now you don't have to cut them small, you don't have to do anything to them, just cut them. I like cutting them like canoes, like this. Turn them over and just... Ow! Oh no. <laughs> just kidding, Greg. Oh. Just give me a second to get my eyes cleared out. Oh boy. Woo! The scraper's back. And pick this up and put it right in here. Gotta start to cook up again. We're cooking now. Ooh. That's better. When I start to cook, they feel better. Not so much better. When you cut them in there raw, oh, I think my eyes are watering. I'm crying, Daddy. Oh I no. But there it is. I'm ready to go. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Now we're back again and we have to clean the lettuce. So while the onions are cooking in the pan, we'll just take this and open it up. Which way? That's the way it goes. Okay. And this is pretty easy. And we'll take this part of the lettuce off. Dump it. And then cut it like this. Cut it again. And put this all in the bowl and wash it. And we got one more to do. That one out. Now, we're going to put some water in it. Wash it so it's nice. This is really great because it's not like spinach. Spinach takes forever to clean. This is not bad because it doesn't hold much sand. So we're just going to let it fill up with water and it'll be done. And we'll get our spoon and clean this. Get it browns nicely. Spin it up, it's up nicely. Now, a smart thing to do is add onion, salt and the onions. The onions can use salt, so can the lettuce. Then we'll add some black pepper to it. But this thing needs more black pepper. Because if black pepper gives us the bite that makes it as much fun as it is. And just a touch of fresh pepper for the sake of having it. Okay, that's cooking. You can see that it's nice when you do that. I like that. Ooh. I think it's funny. It's a nice little smoke effect. Yeah, you can see here. Now, this is real nice. Then I'll rinse this out. Let me get the uh, colander. And the 
again, they smell good cooking too, don't they? Mmm, really good. Put that in here. Clean it I'm going to put some bay leaf into this cheesecloth and wrap it up so I can add it to the soup and then pull it out. And I use the cheesecloth so you don't have to go digging for the bay leaf. A couple more. I don't know, a few. This looks like, yeah, like a bunch. Does that look good? Yeah, it looks good. Mm. So you see how many it is? This way I don't have to tell you again. Good. It's That's many. About that many. <laughs> Then we just take it, kind of fold it together, wrap this up this way, wrap it up that way, wrap it over here, wrap it over there, go like this, and this way we have the string. I used to, have, I used to buy this stuff to tie flies, but now I have to tie herbs. <laughs> it's not quite the same thing. You can't fish with them, but they look good and they taste good in the food too. Hi, it's me again, and I just put the onions that I did right in the pot. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm going to add the salad and add some water and cook it up. I'll stick this in here. So, like, I got a bunch of water in here that I poured from before. Ah. So if I put the water in here like this, and when I see it come up to where my fingers are, mm -hmm. like, That's about right, yeah. That's about to where my fingers are. We'll see what it looks like after we cook it. When we blend it and we have to blend it, we'll see if there's enough water. If it's not, we'll add more. I'll add a little more salt because it's got so much salad in it. And a little more black pepper. We'll put the cover on. And we'll leave it alone. Oh! Oh, the can we can't forget. You can't put this in. You gotta put this in too. As a matter of fact, what we'll do, yeah, we'll put it in now, it's fine, and we'll let go. Uh, we have to wait until the, the, the salad wilts, mm -hmm. until it kind of melts down and it's like, <laughs> and then we put it in the blender. I thought the, the salad's almost all wilted in the pot, and I add parsley to it, because parsley gives it a nice flavor. Parsley gives everything a nice flavor. Gives meatballs a good flavor, gives salad's a good flavor, and it's just a nice layer of dish. Okay. Put this right in here. Mix it all in because this is going to be grated up. So, like that, like that. Okay. Put the heat back on and let it cook for a while. sentimiento come tu e chi tiene mente cacciato o fasuna guardo qua cristi giardina siente se se sciura l'ancia lo profumo a così fino Dora se ne va e tu di che parte di io da non andare a scuola dalla terra meglio mora te lo vuole e non torna ma non me la sa Darme tu durmiendo, torna sorriendo, fame e gamma. So give it a shot. It's really easy to do. It's not hard. Have a good time with it. And I'll see you later. Ciao. Bon appetito. Let, talk to and don't forget, it's mysingingkitchen.com and that's on my website. So give me a call. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Let us enjoy this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>